Let's factor the equation x squared minus 7x minus 8. And what we'll do, we'll use these guidelines to help us. First off, we want a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation. Because once we have that, we can add the signs to the skeleton. In this case, we have a negative and a negative. If both the middle and the last term is negative, then we're going to put a positive and negative in our skeleton equation, like this. Next, we want to find the factors for the last term. That's the negative 8. And they should add up to the middle term negative 7. So the factors of 8. And I can see 1 times 8, that would give me 8. And the difference between 1 and 8, that's 7. So the question is, do I put the 8 here, or do I put the 1 here? Since I want the middle term to be negative, I'm going to put the larger number, the 8, here, and the 1 here. And we factored the equation x squared minus 7x minus 8. Let's check our work, though, with the FOIL method. Multiply the first, outside, inside, and last, we get and we can combine negative 8x and x. That'll give us negative 7x. We have our negative 8, negative 8, x squared, x squared. Same thing we started with. So we correctly factored x squared minus 7x minus 8. Let's find the values for x here. That when we put them back in the equation, and make this side of the equation equal 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we say x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from each side. x equals negative 1. Over here, x minus 8. That equals 0. Add 8 to both sides. We get x equals 8. So if you put 8 in for x, and then you do the math, all of this side here, it's going to equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 1 in for x, you do the math, all this equals 0. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll find that you'll get these same numbers just like we did here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 7x minus 8. Thanks for watching.